All right, welcome to the speed build for the Orchid. And uh, yes, I am very much looking forward to building this one. And yeah, I love it that it's got that pot. Those Anything that doesn't have the pot in the Botanical series is not as good as ones that do. And yeah, so with that, definitely looking forward to these and I'm really looking forward to seeing just how this looks in real life because I, I've heard good things about it and I, I mean it looks good just on the box so I can't imagine it looking too bad in real life. Also looking forward to seeing just how finicky the, the dirt placing will be or the um, mulch placing will be uh, for those pieces. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to building this and seeing this and maybe even learning a little bit about the flower. So yeah, and I, again, I always gotta say when they put these on big boxes, it doesn't make sense. And it's not really any more environmentally friendly than just putting two pieces of tape because putting all kinds of glue in there is just as bad as putting two pieces of tape in my eyes. But with that, let's get to the speed build. I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. I will be doing a bit of a review and thoughts right after we get the speed build done, of course, as per usual. So let's get to it. Here we go. It is done. The Orchid. Uh, yeah, I, I love this. I think this is definitely the best variation of the dirt, just right off the bat. This is definitely way better than having a bunch of one by one studs to just drop in there and shake around. And this feels like if I happen to tip it over, it's gonna be a lot easier to just, you know, toss a couple of pieces back in there and it's all good, we're good. Rather than having to pick up a hundred different pieces and try to shuffle them in there, you know? Yeah, I'll say this is definitely the best variation of dirt that they've had in a Lego Botanical set to date. And beyond that, these are amazing. These look amazing and yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you've heard in reviews by now, but the forks 
they use Lego forks, like minifigure forks for these little little pedals on the edges here. Very cool, very interesting building technique that I've definitely never seen before. Didn't even know you could do something like that, so it's awesome to see that and really get impressed by it. And same with the uh, the pot. The pot is very well done and it looks good. It just looks good. It's really something that I'm definitely not going to be putting in the main collection with everything else. It's just going in in the living room, you know? It's just going to be chilling out there. And that is a testament to these types of Lego sets and the fact that you don't really have to have them in a specific place with all your other Lego sets. It's It's very much a put it anywhere kind of set, you know? And I love that about really just all the botanical series, but especially these ones that come with their own pots and stuff. Beautiful. Love it, and it's very displayable. So with that, this is definitely one of the better of the botanical series, just like the succulents, and I think they are doing a spectacular job with these, and they should definitely keep it up. Um, I mean, really, the only negative thing I could possibly say about this is, like, sometimes the colors might bleed through, but really that's just a matter of shuffling the, the foliage around enough to not have that happen. So, yeah, that's really the only negative thing I could possibly say about this. Other than that, this is an amazing set. 10 out of 10, or 5 out of 5, would recommend. Definitely feels like it's worth the $50 that you pay for it, and, yeah, gotta say, good stuff. Keep it up, Lego. And with that, I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there again by now, so do click them as you please. Thanks again for watching, Mr. Iota Panda.